We're glad to know you're still there and watching us. This is the run-up, and we did promise that when we return from the break, we're going to be talking with a young politician, and he's the convener of Us for Us. I just wanted to, to call him young politician, but I think it's more befitting to say what lofty thing he has been doing. It's our pleasure this morning to welcome Richard Romanus to the studio. Richard is joining us live from Calabar. Good morning and welcome, Richard. Thank you. Thank you, Yango. Okay. Uh, before we go to your journey into politics and your experience uh, in the last primary, because you, uh, we understand you contested um, for the State House of Assembly seat in your constituency. We'd like to know uh, something about this Us for Us movement that you have started in Cross River State. Okay, um, Us for Us uh, movement was, uh, uh, is an initiative I, I came up with. You know, in order to drive my to drive my aspiration at the time, as you already know, I aspire to represent the people of Ubuntu to state constituency in the Cross River State House of Assembly under the platform of uh, the All Progressive Congress (APC). Uh, though that uh, aspiration didn't see the light of day, you know, but um, I am particularly excited that uh, it actually got the the steam. You know that uh, uh, I desired. You know, and talking about the the us for us ideology, it, it is a it is an ideology I came up. I thought I I I I thought should be able to. I came I I, I formulated. You know, to be able to get the youth, get my my young my fellow young people involved. You know, in politics. You know. One of the things I believe is that as the way we are right now in Nigeria, it is only us that can help. It is only a fellow youth that can help a fellow youth. You know, in a house full of opportunities, in a table where decisions are taken, when you have a fellow young person on that table, what you discover is that if that young person is given an opportunity to nominate person, that another person that will join them on that table, that young person will not remember somebody that is above him. He would definitely, he or she would definitely remember what either his friend, even if it is his brother, but of the same age bracket, a fellow young person like him. You know, and it is the same thing that is applicable to the older people. You know, right now I have a problem with uh, um, uh, most of our politicians in Cross River State. Where if it is not if it, if it is not those their contemporaries that they started politics together in 1999, they don't consider anybody fit, you know. So for me, the whole idea behind the us for us ideology was basically for all, for youths standing by fellow youths, you know. And again, I need to correct this impression. Uh, when I say us for us, or when I say youth for youth, youth for youth, it is not. I am not saying. I am not saying. It is every kind of youth. Amongst us, I keep saying that amongst us, we know the useful youths. We know the ones that are useful. We know those of us that, if given an opportunity to represent us in one position or the other, will do well. You know. And so, my idea is that there is need for us to identify those of us, you know, who are blessed with um, that use, uh, leadership um, uh, uh, acumen in us and give those opportunities to. Because if we don't do it for ourselves, if we don't help ourselves, if we don't encourage ourselves, if we don't support ourselves, these men would definitely would not want to support us, would not want to give us an opportunity to even raise our, our head. So that is, that is basically the idea behind the Us for Us movement. But, well... Are you not sounding like some kind of rebellion? <laughs> like, if we not do our work, it will do for us. Yeah. Like, let's fight the, the older generation or something so that we get to understand you more and not uh, just leave it to uh, speculation. Well, 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 I don't think I am fighting the older generation. Uh, we, have been, uh, let, we have been made to know 
that power is never served like an a la carte. Mm -hmm. It is actually fought for. Mm -hmm. It is actually taken. You know, and um, for us, or for me particularly, I, I don't want to depend on, I don't think that it is good for us to depend on on anybody to give us power. We are not waiting for us to be served. We want to compete favorably. And like I said, we just need to rally support for ourselves. You know, we just need to rally run ourselves. Because you know, the truth about it is that we have the numbers. We have the numbers to actually upset the status quo. Look at what is happening in Nigeria. The Peter B phenomenon, the obedient things all over the place. Who are the major champions of the of the of the of the video movement? It is the youth. Yes, I I I I I have one or two um, uh, 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 reservations about the movement, but then I am excited that for the very first time, my generation, my fellow young people, are rising up to the occasion to take their country back. You know, and the truth about it is that if we continue in this regard, even if we don't get what we want in 2023, in very, very short time from now, you know, we'll definitely get our country back. We'll start finding ourselves, finding our brothers, our friends in one position or the other. So, and for me, for me, like I said, in a table that, in a table, in a table full of opportunities, it is only when you have your fellow brother, that you have your fellow, your friend, your fellow young young person who knows the pains, who knows what you what you're passing through in the streets. It is only that person that can recommend you for a position, for an appointment, for an elective office. It is that person that will support you, you know, because the older people will definitely remember themselves. Them too, they have their friends too. We too should also do friendship with ourselves. Why they do friendship with themselves too? That is my. That is basically the point. I am not rebelling against anybody. I am only saying that the time for us, the young people of Nigeria, to come together to, together is now. Okay. Um, you you told us you had run for um, office and uh, the primaries for the for, in the APC to go to the House of Assembly. How would you describe yes. that experience and? How do you think this could be, that experience could be of benefit to other young people who aspire to seek elective office? Okay, um, it, is, it was actually my first, or it, is, yeah, it was actually my first time of um, aspiring to represent my people. And for me, I have no regrets whatsoever. You know, it was, um, uh, it was an aspiration that has been a long time coming. As a matter of fact, I started nursing the, that aspiration for well over two years. You know, and 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 one thing I must I must tell my fellow young people out there is that um, nothing is impossible. Absolutely nothing is impossible. The moment you the moment you get your 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 eyes focused on a thing, you know, so long as you're you're you you're, you're committed to it, you can achieve it. You know, so yes, I didn't re I didn't realize the ultimate goal of actually getting nominated by my party, you know, but I am excited because in the course of me running, in the course of me doing consultations, telling people. I want to be this. I want to. I want to represent my people. Traveling here and there, quite a number of people had actually suspect. Uh, had actually, um, I've heard people say that one cannot get money. Can, where will even get money to buy from? And of course, it is it is common knowledge that the APC nominations APC nomination form, you know, was one of the highest in the country across political parties. You know, but. So they agreed me. I was one of the first persons who bought forms, and I was actually one. I am. I was actually the youngest, you know, that was running for that office. How did I do it? Like I said, I started not seeing the aspiration to go to the House of Assembly for over two years, and so I created a special account where every month 
I took a deliberate decision to be putting in some little amount of money there every month. So that the moment they say the forms are out, I will comfortably walk to my bank, withdraw my money, and go to the party secretary and pay for my form. And that was exactly what I did. You know? And so the issue of the youths don't have money, the issue of uh, the youths are not always prepared, was not there. I when I ran my elections, I completely altered all of those notions. You know, because from my activities, everybody knew that I was actually very, 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 very prepared. And I make bold to say that I didn't get financial support from most people. As a matter of fact, when most of the people who thought I couldn't buy form saw that I have gotten my form, most of them started taking me serious. You know, and so the challenge so many young people have is that most times when they come out to run elections, they are not even prepared. They begin to hope that people from this party, this uncle, this uh, one politician or the other will give them money to run elections. And if they don't give them, those people become bad people. For me, if you want to run elections, if you have the aspiration to represent your people in whatsoever position, first thing first, get yourself prepared. You know, get yourself prepared financially and otherwise. So that if anything, anything that is coming would only be a mere addition. You know, that way you, you, you earn your respect. Okay, well, just I know you want to ask him again. But what do you think led to your not uh, getting nominated, as you said, to represent your people? Someone, someone else won the primary. What do you think you could have done better uh, to earn you that uh, nomination? Well, um, sincerely, I cannot, uh, I cannot say what I didn't do. Um, I will only say that the only reason why I was not nominated was because uh, if, not, if it is about the politics of zoning, the zoning favored me. You know, it is about, um, I mean, I met all the qualifications, you know, that would have um, given me the, giving me, my, giving me my party nomination, you know. But um, like they say in our place, in our, in our politics, the party is supreme. You know, for this time, the party, the party clearly didn't want to. The party clearly just just wanted to um, uh, uh, favor my favor the guy who finally got nominated. Uh, I give it to him. He's been in this race for over three times, three consecutive times, and this is his fourth time. And um, his closest his closest driver, which was me, was doing it just the first, this was this, that was actually my first time, you know. And, and so, like I said, I cannot really point at what I didn't do right, you know. I cannot really point at what I didn't do right because I was literally on the road every second, you know, talking to people. Um, uh, no, I mean running everywhere. You know, trying to, trying to put my put myself out there for public scrutiny. You know, so for me, I cannot really point out what I didn't do right. I would rather say that um, uh, uh, my party only wanted to, for the, I mean, uh, favor someone else, the lucky guy, for this time. Maybe next time will be my turn. What you just said now uh, speaks to preparation and patience. Mm. There are those who believe that the younger generation, oftentimes they want things immediately. They are not prepared to wait um, and their mind is not cultured to, to anticipate or to accept delay. So, but what you have just explained to us now um, is, is, is quite, quite instructive. So what advice would you have for aspiring young politicians who feel that they, if they don't get a nomination now or if they don't become 
uh, they don't get elective office now, then that's it. They are not interested anymore. Well, the truth about it is that I, I am a Christian, and I have always, um, I believe that God has a hand in everything man does. I have just told you people that um, uh, the guy who finally got nominated by my party has been on this lane for over three, three consecutive times. That means he has wasted, he, has, he had waited for this opportunity for 12 consecutive years. You know, and um, the present president of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, has run elections for over three times and finally got it the fourth time. Quite a number of people who are today doing their first term, second term in the National Assembly, as senators, House of Representatives members, have run elections severely. And so there is absolutely no way I will put all of these experiences together that, I mean, I will not um, uh, 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 come back to my senses and say, hey, uh, why not wait? And, I mean, the person talking to you guys right now, I am, I became, I, I clocked 32 just, less, just last month, you know. So in the next dispensation, I'll be by 20 what 2027 I think I'll be I think I'll be 30 37 you know so for me there is absolutely no need to even hurry you know uh, and that is that would be my advice for young people that should take the likes of our president for example that should take I mean that should put all of these experiences together uh, as I speak to you Immediately I lost my... Pro immediately, I, I didn't contest. I didn't even go to the field. They just asked me to withdraw some... I mean, less than 24 hours to the primaries. And I had to obey my party. You know? Uh, and the monies I spent... I, I had not met anybody to refund the monies I have spent to me. You know? Because, like I told people, I started preparing for this race more than two years ago. And the, the money I spent in that in the race was what I had budgeted or what I had planned to spend, and so it is not affecting me at all. Mm -hmm. I live, I, I I I still live my normal life. And as a matter of fact, when my brother said this is how they wanted to introduce me, I said no. Let the rather use the convener us for us movement mm -hmm. because till tomorrow, us for us movement is a movement that. I want to continue to I want to continue to use it to create awareness out there for young people. Okay. As I speak to you, I am rallying support for every young person that was given ticket in my party in my state. You know, there is one of my friends, a young guy who who would obviously be the youngest House of Assembly member by the grace of God in Christ. He's 29, 30 years old. You know, I am doing everything possible using my, my platform, you know, to support him. In Cross River State. We also have um, uh, a senator candidate who is in his 30s, his late his early 30s, Asuko Ekpeyo Jr. You know, I am doing everything possible to ensure that he gets to the Senate. I am also, I mean, this for me basically is the reason behind the us ideology. The very need for young people to support fellow okay. young people. Okay, because it is yeah. only when a young man gets there that he remembers a fellow young person. Yeah, okay, uh, Richard. Um... If we continue to talk about us for us, I'm sure we'll we'll talk of, about it the whole day. But at this point, we'd like to just say thank you to you for coming on the show, and um, we do hope that the youths who are listening to you have learned one or two lessons. Lessons, and that is that you need to be patient and you need to be prepared for whatever you have put yeah. your mind to go and do. Uh, yeah. We wish you luck the next time you go into it, and for whatever activity you're doing right now. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Okay. That was Richard Romanus, uh, who t contested for the uh, House of Assembly seat in Cross River State and a convener for us, for us. Um, he was being very modest. Uh, how I got to know about us, for us is that there are a lot of people, youths, you know, who sometimes maybe you cannot. Uh, register for YEG, maybe mm -hmm. you cannot uh, feed, maybe you cannot do one or two things. And he just said, okay, hey, look, 
I am close to the people who can give me some freebies, some free mm -hmm. money. So why not every time, he started with 20,000, every month I will just give out 20,000 to anybody that I see that is in need. In need. And it was random. It wasn't like you have to come from this local government, from this constituency. You just needed to be a youth and in need. And in need, okay. And he started sharing this money. And sometimes when the problem is bigger than him, he will rally support from everybody and just give money to the person and say, hey, if we don't do it for us, who will do it for us? Mm -hmm. So that's how the Us For Us came. And okay. so I was really impressed by what he was doing, uh, even though... He didn't want to mention that part of it. He just <laughs> talked about his election. Yeah, it's been more than. But, yes. but I, I was quite impressed with you know what he said, especially about preparation. Yeah. You know because this people wake up six months to elections and say they want to contest mm -hmm. or three months to elections. He said he had been preparing for at least two years, yes, yes. and he was taking money every month and putting in a dedicated bank account. Right. The young people who criticize the old brigade shouldn't go back to the same old brigade mm -hmm. to come and sponsor them. Yeah. So he's actually lived by his principle and what he espouses. He's proven it and he's shown that you can actually finance yourself. Yeah, if you you're know, deliberate exactly, about it. Exactly, if you're deliberate about it. And I think that's a very big lesson. Okay, so get prepared. Not too young to rule, is there? There's so many other laws now that have been put in place to make sure that the place is conducive enough for us all to contest if we need to contest. But like he said, borrow a leaf from Richard. When we are crying about Godfatherism, and then you're going to the, uh, how do they call it, the old stock, old cargo, mm -hmm. old generation, whatever name you want to call them, to sponsor you. It's an investment, and whoever invests wants return on investment. So <laughs> if you want your own tenor in whatever capacity to be tied to someone else's grace, well, that will be left for you. But like Richard said, be prepared. Mm. We'll take a short break now, and when we return, we'll be joined by our second guest, uh, Demola Soyolu, a media consultant and public affairs analyst. Stay with us. <laughs> 